Welcome everybody to another video. I am Beaver and this is our first installment of Biomutant. And beside me here is Mercy, my little Biomutant dog. I got her these bunny ears just for this intro and she absolutely hates them. It's basically torture for her but I wanted to show her off because uh, I have dogs and sometimes they make some noise in my videos and apologizing right now for that ahead of time. Sometimes they bark in key parts but um, and also in videos in the past I've had some lag issue and the reason why is because I stream to the internet because I don't have that kind of money to uh, buy an Elgato and buy the fancy computer set up and all this crap I'm just starting out so I don't have all that yet but I work my butt off I work 45 hours a week get home edit videos till like 2 in the morning so I do my best uh, to try to pump these out as fast as possible I love what I do so Please subscribe to me, help me out, it would mean so much. I try to put a video out Monday through Friday, at least one video a day. Unless the content's really crazy, then I'll try to put out more. Um, anyways, I'm going to take these stupid bunny ears off, because they're getting in my freaking way now. But So this is Biomutant, and if you don't know what Biomutant is, it's like a post-apocalyptic rat slash mouse like you, you're like a mix with a breed of all these like little rodents it kind of reminds me of red wall like red wall you got the good mice and you got the bad mice trying to fight each other it's kind of like that there's a tree in the middle of the map a huge tree called the tree of life and there's a light tribe these tribes of light and their whole op main objective is to keep that tree alive and then there's the dark tribes and their whole objective is to kill that tree, believing that it'll be like cleanse the world after it dies, and then there'll be like a rebirth. And we get to decide, do we want to be there on the light side, or do we want to be on the dark side? So that neat. Also, like you get to customize your guns a bunch with just random junk you find on the ground. You get to ride like mechanical horses. I think even real animals. Um, all sorts of crazy stuff is going to be in this game, but all in all, it looks like a beautiful game. It looks amazing, so we are going to see if this is awesome. It is my first RPG, open world RPG, and on the channel, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. So, I'm Beaver, and this is the beginning of our story. Encode your DNA. Alright, choose breed. Primal is a nimble developed anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble. Dexterous at the cost of a lesser developed intellect. Dumden. Dumden is the least developed anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Rex. Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA string, making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Hyla is a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. Ooh, that one sounds cool. Um, the FIP breed is a renowned for a highly involved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to the power of Kai, which amplifies their psionic output, which the psionic is the, the magic, I believe. Murgle. Murgle is the definition of an idolized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. Um, I think I like primal. I like, it's more like me, you know, it's a cost of lesser developed intellect. And that that fits me well, so let's go with that. Attributes. To find your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanations of what effects each attribute has. Right. Define your genetic structure. Hmm. So into head, because you're smarter, I guess. 
Charisma? I don't really know. Vitality, you get really fat. <laughs> Strength, you get pretty big. Agility, you get a little skinnier. I don't think this lower intellect and charisma, I don't think I'm going to be really rocking on uh, magic as much. I've never really been one to use, mess around with magic and stuff, so. I'm thinking I like the strength and the agility, but having extra health is also nice. So I want to be somewhere, maybe more on the strength side slash agile side. And we could probably get health later, so let's go with that. Choose a genetic resilience. All right, so if you didn't know, this map has like seven biomes, and the one's like a winter area where cold will hurt you. One obviously has radiation, um, toxic, heat, and you'll take damage when you're in these areas. But if you be you'll take damage in these areas, but if you become a hundred percent resistant to something, you won't take any damage. So. We kind of want to choose like what area we want to be most resilient in right now. And I'm thinking radioactive because radiation scares the shit out of me. So I think I want to be more resilient to that. So zero, I don't want zero percent resilience. Oh yeah, two, we'll keep two percent down. I think I want to go more cold. We'll do that. Choose your first style. My first style. Okay, a little longer. See how our hands color purple? That's from being resilient to radiation. I don't know. I like this one with the orange on the face, like that cool lines on the face look kind of cool. That one's not bad. Ooh. I think I want to go, yeah, I think this one right here. The white with the orange, the red arm. Okay. Pick your main color. Alright. Oh, that's a cool color. Uh, you guys like that color? That color's freaking awesome. Man. Also, like the purple and the red. Let's go. With this blue, I like that color. I think that's kind of what my thumbnails kind of have in it. Choose your detail color. Oh, purple, blue, and gold. That's kind of weird, huh? Hmm. I'm liking... I don't know what I like. So hard to choose. Bright, toxic-ass green. Oh, I kind of like that. Purplish, bluish. Pick a command, dead eye. All right, these are our uh, classes. So the dead eye. The dead eye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside of law and society values. Uh, your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly, and your next magazine is granted 20% damage. Commando. The commando is a trained, is an operative of an elite special operations force. Commandos are used to working in smaller teams. Okay, that's kind of cool though. Uh, Sight. Oh, that looks sick though. Psy freaks are experimenting with psionic powers and mutations. They're usually outcast on the fringe of society. Sparkfall. Shoot a sparkfall. Nah. Mega Mind, your key energy regen is increased. We're not going to do Psy freak because we did not set ourselves up to be a Psy freak guy. Saboteur. Saboteur. The saboteur is a cunning, skilled explorer trained to operate covertly in both suburbs and wilderness. Uh, melee dual wield skill. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Hyper genetic. Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. Ooh, that's cool. Sentinel. Sentinel. Um, Sentinel dedicated 
themselves to protect a house, their dedication is for the organizations as a whole, including supreme belief in their dogma. Careful. Commando. Back ten percent more damage. Sight saboteur. I like the saboteur. Saboteur chosen. Okay, that is our little little uh, fur creature. That'll work. Move forward, press L forward to look around, use right. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. I am dark as red, as in strength and power. Color me light blue for freedom and loyalty. You know, I always play the good guy. I'm sick of playing the damn good guy. So I'm gonna go dark. Let's just destroy everything, okay? Allow me to introduce myself. Let's go. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Alright, I am one with the darkness. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Alright, so if we don't like being the bad guy, if I change my mind, we can go light. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself, and it seems we're headed in the right direction. Oh, damn. Put her to bed, boy. Alright. Alright, uh, All right, let's go. Guess left can be right, sometimes. Tap square and does a bunch of combos. R2 shoots my gun. That one looks like it does a block. Ooh. Oh, I reload. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Meat. Eaters meet. New main quest. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. New main quest, losing dodge roll. I'm trying to read this shit, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Reload that shit. Monkey wheel. Oh, an R2. What the shit? Panther sweet melee. Oh, shit. Kicking my ass. Parry L1. Okay. Who wants me to parry this guy? Oh shit, that was out of time. Parried him. Viper bite, right and square. Circle, right, square. Rabbit's fury. Bunch of combos, it looks like. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story.
Bio mutant. Barely read that. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. This bad boy's gonna blow up. Escape the bunker. The predator isn't the only thing. Too many stopping, you know, like I wanna just go. Mutate when the end of days began and the tree of life started to die. Okay, looks like I gotta fight these guys. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee. Aim the camera towards the enemy target with ranged attacks. To reload your ranged weapons, press R1. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. So where exactly? That must be that lower... Yeah, it's that lower blue button. Starving it up. This is in hard mode, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but... I suck at this game. Die! Slice and die. Oh, yeah. I'll reload that shit. Down to half your health. The targeting is not, like, super sick. Wow. Seems like the melee is a lot better than the shooting. Now that's a flesh wound. Oh. He's coming up behind me, I ass here. Did I get him? All right. I'm bleeding. That's to be just, uh, expected here. Got a little box. Ex Electric module. You found a weapon special eff effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapons special effects, so use them wisely. Okay. How do I put this on there? Equip. To attach the special effect add-on, select it through your consumable quick menu to open the menu and press up. Okay. Okay. Am I accessed in my quick menu? I'm pressing up. I have to press left. I thought I said press up. Okay, I think it's equipped. Don't quote me on this. Found a medic supply. Cool. So they can heal my ass. You can select advantage by holding the quick select menu and, put, and selecting up. Oh, this one's actually up. The other one is left. They lied to me. Why would they lie to me? Because I'm darkness. Oh, look at the little cricket. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. Oh, he's but a big boy. Adapted to the new environment yeah, I got this. I got this weapon type. Shoot that guy. Remember to parry an enemy's attack. When the enemy attacks and you see lightning bolts flashing above their heads, press L1. Holy shit. I gotta get out of here. I can't see. What the heck? Target this big boy. Get the big boy! Okay, he's dead. Rick. 
This guy, he just blocks me with his gun and kills me, or what? Okay, that one's dead. Jeez, let me go. Eat my gun, boy. Let's go. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and press triangle. Remember to use your healing items when you're wounded to open the item. Select press up. Okay, so a glowing enemy. I think I got something. This guy should have something. Health regen. Okay, so we're full health now. Wants us to go there. Ew. Shit's... Oh! Don't go into skull... into sludge with skull and bones. See, my intellect is low. Oh yeah, boy! I don't know how that. Oh, reload, bitch. Cutting edge. Oh, he blocked me. There, he's dead. I'm gonna shoot the big guy. I'm gonna shoot that shit when he has it in his hand. Oh, he got me with that. Look at that shit. Shoot that barrel by him. Shoot that barrel by him, boy. Oh, I must have shot it out of his hand. He's dead, he's dead. You're dead now. Twock! Give me your health. Give me all your health. You got health? Oh yeah, energy regen. Health. Okay, we're gonna pop some health. Um, we're not gonna go in that. Um, was almost attempted to again. But we're not gonna. The way he moves around the world, though, it feels really nice. The jumping feels nice. Oh, I forget about dodge. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage. Oh shit, that was weak, bro. Reload that shit, boy. I like to shoot the big guys. I'm a gun guy, I think. Not a sword guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna go back around here. Oh, yeah? Wow, that did a lot of damage. You don't want to get surrounded by... It's really hard to uh, get health in the middle of combat. I'm definitely... A, I'm definitely going to upgrade my shooting ability. <laughs> You're dead, boy. Uh. 
Upgrade point. Defeating enemies. Completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills. In the Wong Fu perks menus, to go to menus, press options. We are now level two. Fully uh, upgraded our health, dude. What is that? What is that? A link. K link. So we can upgrade. I'm guessing the level up right here. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick what attributes you want to increase from the list. Um, melee damage? I want to increase my damage. Um, so strength. Getting swole. Yeah, we're going to get yoked, everybody. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Select close combat or range combat. Uh, well, like you say, I like range. So range. Uh, guns. Okay, we got feather flight. Flip. Uh, feather flight shoot with currently equipped weapon input sequence. Uh, flip Phoenix, jump and shoot in the direction of input. X and R2. Sliding Snake, kneel side and shoot in the direction of input. Hmm. What are what is that bone thing for? I can do this one. Finish your melee chain by fan firing your gun. This is a special attack. Hitting the enemy with it will fill up your Super Wong Fu icon. Circle Square R2. Man, that sounds crazy. We're just gonna go with Feathers Flight. Wait, oh, I guess this is the one I have to do. I have all these other ones. Circle Square R2. Okay. So I guess we are upgraded. Map. Okay, let's look at the map. Whereabouts? Surfalop. Surplalego. Dead Zone. Naki leaves, cup stones, your fields. Okay. It looks pretty so big. This must be the big tree right here. That's where I want to go. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Oh, I got a claw bar. What do I do with the claw bar? That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Square up okay. Whoa! Down in the sewers where we belong. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Double jump. How do you do a double jump? It looks toxic as shit. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Right in the face. I don't like getting attacked from the back because you don't you don't see them and then boom they hit you in the back. I got you, boy. I'm gonna shoot him. Am I doing any damage? Oh, 
Don't surround me. It's doing like 105 to him. Damn you, son. Super melee, super parry block. This guy's frozen. I just knocked him out cold. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use a bio blob to unlock special powers at any time by accessing mutations part of the menu. Bio points, baby. Okay. Oh, that's where we came from. I bought this kung fu headband for this game, and man, it is itchy. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Toxanol built vessels called Shit. arcs to save themselves Why did I from click the on impending doom. But I apologize. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while other features have different rewards. To switch which node is select use L. To rotate the nodes, press L1 R1. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Uh, each node has a certain position. It must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. So we got ten moves. Okay. Okay. We're gonna white on white, yellow on yellow. <gasps> Oop, didn't mean to move that one. Oh, that already counts as a move. Okay. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That was super tricky, man. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Alright, so right there we kind of are getting an idea of what this story is about. It seems like humans, this is Earth, and humans derived on it, and with all our, um, we just basically destroyed it with toxicity, garbage and waste and it mutated these animals and then the animals t took over and that is where we are now and I don't think there's any people on this game so humanity died man 
sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Pew pew. It's coming from behind that door. Okay. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. What does that mean? Potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit okay, of puzzling a puzzle. to short circuit the door. Okay. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. Took some puzzling. Some puzzling. Airstrike. Perfectly countering enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing L1. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. All right, he's on our side. Let's go, wheeled one. Flash and slash. Nobody's focused on me at all. Holy shit, dude. He's got one hell of a gun. Oh. They just like stab you in the back. But you can't see him. That's a pretty cool move though, hitting him back in the air like that. Oh, he's dead. We got this guy. What? One guy left. Let's shoot him. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheel. I want that guy's big gun. Alright. I wanna grab some stuff. Whatever this is. That paid off. A new friend, an old friend. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He's a fighter, bro. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. The scar? It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Mooma. Come, Reaper. You Tula. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. 
to why? It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. What's at stake? The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. That's the side we're on. We want the doomsday. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. By default, dialogues are set to advance from an e one NPC line to the next automatically if you want to manually advance to dialogue. Whatever. Okay. Way back in the long ago, talk to Vess before. Can I go back here? No, it doesn't look like I can. This is me as a little baby. Holy shit, he looks like Elvis. Sounds like him too. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. She don't care. Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Mm, I don't believe in magic. No, no, potato people is better. I don't know. I don't believe in magic. Magic? Hey, what's he saying? claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. The Seems Nono like the left choice, the, the, the choice is the dark choice, the right is the light. you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Whoa, I'm stuck. What am I wrestling? The glitter grass. Oh shit. How far away is this glitter grass? I thought I was dead. Oh. Oh, I am dead. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. What Pensai? The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. <laughs> You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from Monono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono was. Alright, let's kill this Nono. Come on! I got you. Why isn't it catching? Uh, 
You handle that net like you've never done anything. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Mm, how many does it need? Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. He is Elvis. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. The Inos, Inos succulated whatever, dude. Man, I don't know about this dialogue stuff. It's like, he says it once in this weird ass language and then the other guy says it really slow. I just wanna fight shit. So this is the tree of life. And we're trying to make it go big. But that's not what we want. We want it to die. I guess we don't choose the dark path until we're old. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. She only cares about Wong Fu. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wang Fu disciples disciplined. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now He's afraid it might be in vain. He doesn't look like Elvis at all now. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. World Eaters, baby. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. 
Got it. Yeah, Yato, Tolu, Keta. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Got my net. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Are we in the open? I feel like. We've been here, right? Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Bio mutant, baby. All right, presented by Experiment 101. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about those guys. Experiment 101, they are a new developer and they, new studio, about 20 people, and this is their first game, so. I mean, so far, for a first game ever, small, small studio. It looks beautiful. Uh, that is gonna wrap it up for this gameplay for now. Uh, we're just gonna start breaking off into the actual open world, so. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen, and stick around for the ones to come. I am Beaver, and that is our story.